What's up, everybody? We're back in Tinkercad for the daily build. If you're brand new to this channel or to Tinkercad, go back and watch uh, part one, part two, part three, uh, and you'll learn the basics. But we're going to just jump right in. We're still doing Halloween themed stuff. So today, let's see, yesterday we did the mummy. That was awesome. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, today, I thought we would do a uh, a little tea light candle holder out of bones, like a little bone teepee uh, support structure that will hold a tea light candle or like a fake uh, flameless tea light candle. They have them like battery powered ones, uh, which would probably be a better idea because we don't want to melt our our 3D printed plastic <laughs> or start a fire. Um, so actually what we're going to do quick is let's make a model of a, the tea light candle because I don't have one at the moment, but I looked on Amazon and they said they're 1.4 inches. Um, so that's 36, about 36 millimeters. I'm going to have to go try to uh, buy one today so I can measure it properly. I'm just going to quick make a model of a tea light candle. Is that okay? You guys going to yell at me? Let's see, can I put that up there? No, let's put this is here. Uh, do, 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 don't worry, this will only take one minute. I like to make a, a little model of what we're going to be dealing with um, because, oopsies. Because then we can uh, use it to visualize and whatnot. Should we just do, do it like this? Sure. It certainly doesn't have to be good. I'm just making a little flame. Is that stupid? Orange or is the flame yellow? Ah, see, this is kind of cool. I do, 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 do. Oh, it's way too big. Okay, shrink this down. I do, 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 do. Was this worth it? Yes, of course it was worth it. Okay, let's align it. <laughs> Is it floating? Oh, that's great. Okay, there is our candle. Let's group it. And look, see, it changes it all to one color, but just go here, go to your colors, and hit multicolor, and it'll save the... It'll save the colors that you chose. I think they're usually a little flatter. There we go. See, that was only a two and a half minutes. So let's set that off to the side. And now let's quick make a bone. We're not going to be able to make a really realistic one because it's going to take too long. It would probably take hours. So we're going to use a shape that I've uh, we've never used on this show before. So what you can do is you can save shapes in your favorites. So see, you have your basic shapes, design starters. Uh, there's some good ones in... Um, shape generators um i think that's where let me check quick uh let's see shape generators well either way you can go through oh geez okay oh wow there's probably more that i haven't even seen anyway you can go through all these different ones and if there's certain shapes you think you're going to be using there's a little star next to them and then they'll get saved in your favorites um, so I found this hyperboloid, I think it's called, is this it? Hyperboloid. I've never actually used it before, so let's use it right now. Looks like we can crank the sides up. Okay, because look, we could stretch it into like a curved bone shape, basically. But I thought just to make it look so it's not so perfect. I wondered if we could kind of cut a little bit of line into it. Let's go back to, oops, let's go back to basic shapes. Cause that's what I'm used to. Um, I'm just going to try this. This might not work. So let's just make this circle really flat. I'm just wondering if we cut a little inconsistency into this, our bone might look a little more realistic. 
I'm just trying to see. Uh, that would be too deep, of course. Let's see, this might not work anyway, but let's just try it. I'm just trying to kind of cut just something small like this. Okay, let's just try this. Let's group them. So I kept it really short so we could make a cut easier. And then we'll stretch this up. So let's see, see it made a dent in the side here. And then when we stretch that up, it should be subtle. Yeah, I told you. Bone dent. Dude, we should do another one on the other side. Ah, that worked. Okay, so let's change. We don't want the dent to be the same. Let's make a wider dent. And spin. And this is a new species bone, so we don't have to make it correct. Anatomical. Ooh, I like it. Duh! I got rid of the other one. No! I should have duplicated. I wasn't paying attention. I was excited about the... Okay, we got to leave that one. That was a good one. There. Duplicate. That's what I meant to do. I just stole it. I stole it. Okay, we'll just do... See, I'm just... I'm just making it up, but... Didn't it really help to add it? Added that. Oh, are we going to get crazy at a big old cut? We can always go back. Okay, group. Okay, I'm excited we get to stretch it. Oh, I bet it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, see how much that added? Wow. I didn't even know that was going to work so good. Okay, let's stretch this up even more. Is this about how long we want our bone to be? Sure. We're going to keep... Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's make this like... I don't know why we're using green. Let's make it like a kind of a gray-white. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Just to cap these off, I don't, we don't want any of these... Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. We don't want these... Um real sharp top so let's just add a sphere on the top of both of these um, yeah we'll start with a rounded top and then we'll go from there okay let's align it oof kind of hard to see here okay so to align we we want to align it on these two middle axes so this button and this one see we just aligned our sphere. Okay, let's uh, move it up. We want to get rid of these, uh, this little edge, which we pretty much did. Yeah, that's good. Um, what would be the easiest way? Oh gosh, I guess I'll just, I guess I'll just duplicate and. Oops. And we'll put one down at the bottom. We can hit F to kind of center the object we're messing with. Okay, let's take a look. Did we... Is that good? Looks good to me. Hey, we're cruising. It's been nine minutes. <clears throat> Um, actually, I was just going to group them, but I don't think I'm going to group them quite yet. Because I think we could just duplicate these bone, or, you know, because we got to make the joint connectors here. So I just hit duplicate. And you know what I'm saying? We got to make, I mean, that's going to be too big. So for one thing, let's make it narrow like this smaller we're just going to kind of make this up because i am not a doctor okay let's uh raise it up a little
And we can make both of them slightly different too if we want. Okay, duplicate again. Oh, I see. Oops, it saved. When you hit duplicate, um, if you don't select off of it, it'll kind of remember the changes. So look, it made it smaller and it pushed it out. Um, so see, it's better to click off of it first and then back on and then hit duplicate. Otherwise, it might remember all the, the, the changes you made, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll explain that better some other time. Okay, I don't want it to be even, actually, but I want it to look kind of like a, a bone. Um, it's not bad. I'm going to see it did it again, but see, I, I want to kind of fill in this little back part. So let's drop it down. This is not going to be a realistic bone. There. That's fine. Because we're going to have a bunch of these bones printed and no one's going to look super close at them. Um, now... Can we just can we just kind of cheat and here let's just quick see what happens if we do this uh, duplicate because we got to do the other side or can we just cheat I don't think we could cheat because unless we can match them up let's see in a real bone do they kind of face the other way. Oh, he, he, they do kind of face kind of goofy ways in other. It looks like we screwed up our. Uh, we kind of screwed up our curves or our little cuts. So let's not do that. Uh, let's just select these three. Is that select? Come on now. Can't tell if it's selected that one. I guess it is. Okay, let's duplicate. Let's see if it selected these. Yeah, it did. Um, so what? We would have to flip it over, which we could just mirror. Oh, wait. You can't mirror up and down? Oh. They should have it another arrow going like this, so you can flip it over this way. Jeez, I'll have to add that myself. Just kidding. I don't know how to do that. Okay, and faster. Do, 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 do. Hit F to center what you're looking at. I have the mo I have the movement on really, really small amount here. Okay, if you want to drop something down, you have to hold Control for raising and lowering stuff. Uh, do we want do we want the two facing the same angle? Oh, it looks like I moved them a little. Yeah, I do not want. Yeah, I want them slightly off because I think they're they kind of look like that in real life, probably, or in our weird alien bone we're making. Okay, is that pretty good? Like, I think this is good. Dude, I'm just going with it. 14 minutes. See, I got to consider the time of the video. I don't like to cut stuff out because then, you know, I just want to bring you guys along on the whole build. I don't want to be cutting everything out. Uh, group. Let's raise this thing up. Maybe there was some mess ups underneath there. Okay, let's raise it up. And then if you ever, if you ever have stuff floating, just hit D and it'll drop it down to the bottom. Okay, now we can do, okay, we group this. Let's bring this out to the center. This is the part I was looking forward to. Let's make it into a stand for our candle. Looks like our candle might have to be bigger, but that's fine. Okay, let's tilt this back. I was thinking, let's just try something, you know. Okay, 
So C, let's hit duplicate. This is the fun part because we got our bone done. Um, oh, I see. Um, hmm, okay. I don't know. I'm just, I might have to try this a few times to get it how I like it. Okay, uh, so this is basically what I'm, I'm going to do something like this. Here, delete this one. Wow, that's not, but this is the basic concept. Okay, I don't like, I mean, that's not bad, but we want a nice base. I mean, obviously, honestly, that's not that bad, but let's get a better, let's steal one of these. Let's delete this. So we want a little wider base, don't we? So basically just change the angle. We're going to hit D to drop it to the there. And now, oh, here, we better center it here. I think this will be better. Let's just try it straight up without moving it too crazy. So let's hit duplicate. And let's just do... Yeah, let's just do this. This might actually work. So we just moved it a little bit. Okay. I didn't want it so centered in the mid. Oh, yeah, I don't want it like that. Oh, no, no. I don't want the bones to really. I'll t I don't really want the bones to look like they're going through each other. Okay, this might take a couple tries. I'm going to keep recording. So I think we're going to have to spin it. Spin it like this, but move the bone out so it's not... You know, so it's not like inside the other bone. It could be in it a little. Let's just see what happens. Okay, we got super bone edge. Uh, this bone is the first one we started with, so is I think we can delete that one. Goodness gracious. See, that's a little too many. It's pretty cool, though. You can't even tell they're bones. Okay. Uh-oh, what happened to that weird bone there? We better delete that one. That one's scary. Oh. I'm still scared of it. Okay, delete. I hope I don't have to cut all these tries out, but you get what I'm saying? I'm just kind of trying things. Okay, duplicate. This time we're going to nail it. Okay, we're going to do a bigger gap. We want to be able to tell that they're bones. And... We don't want them all stuck together, so see, we have to move it out a little. Let's try this. Yeah, this is better. And then see that original bone I have to delete. Hey, this is a this is kind of what I wanted. But there's there's one bone that doesn't fit. It was actually the original one, so this one. Okay, delete. Hey, this is what I pictured in my head. Yeah, see, we did it. It's only been 19 minutes. Okay, watch this. I do, 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 do. And I'll show you why we made this model. You know what? I like this so much. We're grouping this. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, group. Now we won't screw it up. And we can align this candle. Let's bring the candle. And what we could do is we'll make a little cut that the candle will fit in into the bones. Oh, we did it. I think. I should not start celebrating yet. Okay, computer. It's having trouble crunching the bones. Ha, crunching the bones.
What's funny is it would fit pretty good in there just like that, but what will... Um, we'll have it do a little cut, I think. Just so it sits in there, uh, like I'll probably have to double check the measurements of the kind that I buy. Like if I buy some of these little fake tea light candles today, and if I have to, I'll adjust the cut. But basically, I'm just going to turn this into a, a hole. If you haven't noticed, it still hasn't finished grouping these bones. See how they're still red? I'll wait. I'll wait here so I can skip skip ahead until they group. I'll be right back. There we go. Finally, geez, that took like three minutes. I'll have to cut that a little bit. Okay, so let's center the tea light candle. I might, like I said, uh, you should measure. Use your caliper to measure your tea light candle. If you don't have a caliper, get one. Um, so measure your tea light candle in real life. And look, we're going to drop it down a little bit. We're going to have it make a cut. And honestly, I'll probably have to redo this. So I don't even know if I'll add this cut right now. Yeah, I might as well just to show you. Um, we want the tea light candle to fit nice and snug down there. So you'd probably want to make the cut like 0.5 millimeters bigger. Wow, this is really goofy. So, uh, oh, 0.5. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 74.2 maybe? I mean, <laughs> 54.2. So you probably want to make it just a little bit bigger. Uh, 54.2. Okay, and now uh, we'd have to center again. But I'll probably do this again once I measure my tea light candles because I haven't gotten them yet. Because it's not even 7 a.m. Okay, let's... Actually, we could do something else quick too so we can group it all at once. Because it might lag again unless my internet just kind of like puked out. I'm thinking... We should probably drop this whole thing down a tiny bit so it connects... You know, so there's a little bit of flat spot on the bottom. So I can have a connection point, you know. Okay, let's look at how. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I want it to connect to the print bed a little bit. We could even go down a little more. It won't screw up the look. Okay, let's go down like that. That's good. But see, whenever you have something that sticks below the surface, you're gonna, you have to snip that off. So, uh, so it has a nice flat bottom to print. So to snip stuff off, super simple, just grab your cutout square, and instead of stretching it up like this with this middle tab, just pull it down a little bit. See? And that that cuts it off right at the thing. See? The bones are going to be cut off. Okay, let's see if now we can group this whole thing. Okay, group. Alrighty, there we go guys. So see, I'm just going to have like a little circular cut like this. Oh, oh, I was like, did I align that? That does not look aligned. Huh, I think I forgot to align this or something. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to have to do this cut over again probably once I measure my tea light candle. But uh, you get it, so now that'll that'll sit down in there and it won't tip all weird. And look, we have a nice little flat cuts on the feet here. And another thing you could do now that you have the finished model, uh, that's what's kind of neat about having a finished a finished model. You could you can duplicate it and slide it over and let's and you could stretch and screw it or whatever like. So, see, you could make like a uh, you could make a short one. So we could make one that's a little bit taller if we wanted. I'm going to stick with the original for sure, but you get what I'm saying. It's kind of easy to do stuff like that. Uh, let's get rid of that for now. All right. Hey, I think this looks awesome. This is exactly what I pictured in my head to a T.
tea light candle. Okay, I'm going to print this out and buy a candle. And we're going to check it out, see if it works. Um, I'm definitely going to use battery-powered candle so I don't melt nothing or start my house on fire. So, all right, I'll be right back when I'm done printing this. And... Yay! It's done! Awesome! Look at it. It turned out really good. Okay, so here's... I, I had it print on brims since the bones weren't touching... Uh, weren't touching much. The brims, even when this is cooled down, the brims, uh, mm, the brims really stick. I'm surprised. We gotta, we gotta make a scraper. Okay, there we go. All right, look at this. This is awesome. Let me see how easy the brims come off. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Done. Look at Awesome. Yeah, these brims, if you didn't know, these help uh, stick it down if there's not very much contact between the model and the bed. Oh, this is great. Okay. And let's see uh, if the tea light candle fits. I think it's going to. Oh, my gosh. It actually, like, it actually snaps into place. Did you guys see I almost screwed it up on the video? The whole point of me making a model of the candle was so we knew how big the candle was. And did you see I, I, I made the candle bigger at one point without thinking, but I caught my mistake. So um, this, this cutout, see we did the little depression here. This cutout was 36.2. And what brand, I don't know if these are all the same, but I couldn't find the uh, battery powered ones. So I'm just using this as an example. I'm not gonna leave this lit. I don't recommend probably using a real flame one. So just use uh, battery powered ones, but I couldn't find any. I live in a small town. Uh, so yeah, this the, the cutout here is 36.2 millimeters. And look, these actually like force down in there, like stick down in. Okay. Let's light it. Okay. And wow, look at that. That's cool. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, I wonder if I could get just like partial light so you could see. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. If I had more than one, if I had more than one, I could tip it on its side and see if it starts itself on fire. But see, the flame would probably go over and melt melt these. But look at, it's very, and it's very stable too. Oh, wonderful. But yeah, I think it would be best to use the flameless ones, the battery ones. Then you don't have to worry about it. It'd probably look really cool to set one underneath it too. You could have the, you could have one on top and one underneath and the whole bone's structure would be glowing, you know. I'll have to find some next time I'm at a bigger, bigger store. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to blow that out. It even looks cool just like that. All right, it's my new favorite, guys. Sorry about that notification sound. Oof, forgot to put it on. Do not disturb. Okay, let's keep going with the Halloween themes. We're not out of ideas yet. If you like this one, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more. And if this channel keeps growing, I'll post a video every single day. All right. Hey, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.